。您现在收看的是华视教育文化频道。接下来要播出的是商用英语绘画下。Welcome back to our conversational English for Business. I'm your teacher, Lisa. Hi, Lin. It's good to see you back. Good to be back, Lisa. Well, last week, I don't know if our students remember what we learned, but we talked about making statements that would help you to continue a conversation. After that, we talked about tag questions and how that can help you to carry a conversation further. And today we're going to talk about uh, talking, uh, uh, talk about your hobbies, and also asking about people's hobbies, mm -hmm. and that might help you to give another topic to move on and to care, uh, to move on the conversations. Well, Lisa, I don't really want to be rude in this, but how does this have to do with conversational English for business? Okay, Lina, is saying, ah, talking about hobbies, talking about your interests, ah, does using English to talk about your hobbies have any relation? Lina, this is my answer to you. You know, talking about your profession, mm -hmm. you know, uh, that requires lots of uh, training, especially a profession dealing with a business issue, uh, requires lots of uh, training mm -hmm. and practice. But however, you don't carry this kind of talk as often as a daily communication, social talk. Well, actually, Lisa, I, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. You know, if you can't make someone feel warm in a conversation, your business is probably not going to go very far either when you try to talk about money issues. So today, we're going to talk about, go on and talk about hobbies. That's our topic for, uh, for today. OK， 呃、uh, ，是的，林老师，刚我的回答就是没有错，在商场上的一些比较专业的一些谈话、谈判的技巧，或者是呃、uh, meeting presentation， 有一些专业的东西，可能需要很多的训练。但是相对的，同学们，你使用的时间是比较。少的哈，那种机会是比较少的。但是今天这样子的一个 talking about hobbies， 啊、uh, ，asking for someone's hobby， 这些可以帮助你在啊、uh, 在做生意之前，你要有一个 icebreaker， and that would be a good time and good、mm -hmm. good way to break the ice， and then you can go on to talk about business issue. So this is what we are going to focus on. Hobbies. Well, maybe it's a good time. Let's move on to chapter focus, so we know what we are going to focus on learning today. Our first chapter focus is to learn how to encourage further conversation by asking about people's hobbies. Yeah, 今天第一个学习的重点就是来问别人的一些兴趣嗜好，因此可以在你的 conversation 绘画中可以呃进一步的鼓励大家再进一步的谈话。And our second chapter focus is to learn how to talk about your own hobbies. 啊，当然，第二个重点就是你自己要怎么来说，来分享你个人的兴趣嗜好呢 ？Well, Lin, what do you like to do in your free time? Well, Lisa, I like talking with people, but this year I've decided, well, I need to get fit. Fit.、Mm -hmm. What does that mean, fit? Well, I need to get healthier. I need to get my body more in shape, Lisa. Okay, fit is our first key word. 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 Okay, fit is our first What exercises are you doing these days? Ah,、uh, 你看起来挺好看的，挺啊、uh, 挺健康的。What exercise are you doing these days? 你最近做些什么样的运动呢？嗯、mm.。Well, what are you doing, Lisa? Um. Well, I like to go swimming. 
Okay, besides swimming, most of the time I like to step on my treadmill to walk. Well, you're doing something right, Lisa. I'm doing something right? Absolutely. Uh, what, 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 what do you mean by I'm doing something right? <laughs> well, it must be correct what you're doing because you're looking really good. Wow, that's good to mm. know. Okay, so 刚刚林老师说问我做什么,我说我做了些什么运动,游泳啦,走跑步机啦,他说 you must be doing something right. 什么意思呢?我做对了,林老师说,跟我前面他说的,因为你看起来身材还可以,所以可能你做对了,你不好像这个运动对你适合。I'm really glad to hear that. And what about you? What do you do to keep yourself fit? <laughs> well, Lisa, I, I know I need more exercise, but you know what? I'm often a couch potato, especially when I'm visiting you. <laughs> okay, a couch potato. Mm. Have you ever heard that expression? Does that mean you're eating a lot of uh, uh, potato <laughs> chips and well, by when you're sitting in the couch? Well, I like those, Lisa, but no, it means that I'm not very active. I just sit and watch TV a lot. Okay, 同学们有没有听过人家说一个人好像是电视宝宝一天到晚都在看电视英文也有这个说法说你是一个couch potato couch是沙发 那potato是马铃薯 那老师刚刚说如果你是一个couch potato 你是不是坐在沙发前一直吃那个potato洋芋片 他说不是的这个意思就是指他常常坐在电视机前看电视 Let's give an example Yeah Exercise isn't for me. I'm more of a couch potato. Alright, well, it's a good warm-up and we're ready to watch our conversation one. And in our conversation one, you'll see two business women. They're talking about they haven't seen each other for a while. So they are chatting and catching things up. Okay, right now, move on to conversation one. Wow, Joan, you are really looking fit. You're doing something right. How often do you jog? Jog? Not me. I'm not into jogging, but recently I've gotten into swimming. Well, it suits you. You look trimmer than you have for years. What about you? What kind of sports do you play? Me? I'm sort of a couch potato. But recently I've started doing aerobics. I really like it. It has made me feel like a new person. I have a lot more energy now. That's great. I've been thinking about playing tennis, but I don't have a partner. Do you like playing tennis? Well, I haven't played since college, but what the heck. I'm willing to give it a try if you can put up with a klutz. That's the spirit. I'll try, but don't have too high expectations. Don't worry about it. I'll be easy on you. And after we play tennis, maybe we could look into playing golf and maybe... Don't get carried away. Let's take one at a time. You don't want to give me a heart attack, do you? Lisa, I know I should exercise more, but you know, I'm just not into it. My back hurts just thinking about it. What do you mean you are not into doing exercise? It means I'm just not interested in it. I don't really enjoy it. Okay. Into, 这是一个表达法,就是说你对某种事物感到兴趣,但是令老师说了说 uh, uh, I'm not into doing exercise, 就表示他对运动不感兴趣. Maybe one, one example can help our mm -hmm. students. Sure. She's really gotten into basketball these last few months. Okay, 她上两个前几个月呢,真的开始热爱。uh, uh, basketball, uh, 篮球, huh? Well, then, you know, I'm often not mm. into doing exercise either, but, you know, after long teaching, and sometimes I feel like I need to do exercise to clear my head, uh, clear my head, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I know <laughs> what it means. It means that you, you need to stop being confused or you want to stop being affected by something. Okay, clear my head. 老师说我也不喜欢运动，但是有时候运动可以帮助你 clear my head, 让我头脑稍微清醒一点啊，特别是 after a long day work and teaching. Um, well, let's see another example. All right. I've been working too hard these days. I want to play some sports to clear my head. 
。OK， 我最近工作非常的忙碌，所以我需要啊呃做一些呃运动，让我真的是呃保持清醒哈。Ling, I know what you mean. You said that you are not into doing exercise.、Mm -hmm. Well, exercise isn't for me much anymore. I really like to do volunteer work, Lisa,、uh -huh. and work for a charity if I have time. Charity,、mm -hmm. that's a, a good word. Can you talk more about it on this keyword? Sure. When you work for a charity, it's an organization that helps people that are ill or possibly poor or in some way disadvantaged. Okay, charity is our today. Another keyword is charity. This word is often used when you work in a charity. When you help the poor, you help the poor. 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 I would like to give some money for a good cause. Which charity organization do you recommend? Uh huh. I would like to give some money for a good cause. 我很呃我要给一些钱给一些呃慈善机构哈呃我要给钱那么我应该给哪一个慈善机构你推荐我给哪一个慈善机构 Okay. Well, I think we have a few more keywords, but we're going to let you watch our skits. A convert a skits too, and then we will come back to talk more about keywords and phrases. Here we go, conversation two. Tell me more about yourself, Jacob. What do you do in your free time? Free time? Well, there isn't much of that these days. But when I do have a little, I like playing badminton. I used to play badminton in college, but I haven't since then. Maybe you should pick it up again. I'd love to have another partner. Well, maybe someday. I love going dancing at the club when there's time. How do you feel about dancing? It isn't my thing. My wife says I have two left feet. That's too bad. There's a great dancing party coming up, and I really wanted to invite you and your wife. I guess that will have to wait until some other time. Thanks, anyways. What other interests do you have? Sometimes, when I need to clear my head, I enjoy jogging. Recently. I started a Japanese conversation class in the evenings, and a drawing class on the weekends. I like staying busy. Sounds like it. I guess I like to live a quieter kind of life. I'm involved in a charity organization. I do a little volunteer work. Sounds really rewarding. Why don't you tell me more about it? Trim. A person looks healthy and thin in an attractive way, or we say slim. Trisha, you look so nice and trim. What have you been doing? Trisha, you 看起来很苗条，很好看。你近来都做些什么呀 ？Aerobics. A very active type of exercise that makes your heart and lungs stronger. When doing aerobics, you need to keep your heartbeat higher for an extended period of time. 当你做有氧运动时，你需要维持心跳速度高一点，并持续一段时间。Feel like a new person. Feel totally different or better. I feel like a new person today. My headache is totally gone now. 我感觉像是重生了，脱胎换骨。我的头疼完全走了。What the heck? Used for emphasizing what you are saying. What the heck? Let's take up snow skiing. 好了好了，让我们开始学滑雪吧。Put up with. To accept someone or something unpleasant in a patient way. I'll play tennis with you, but you'll have to put up with me not being very athletic. 我和你一起打网球，但是你要忍受我不是非常有运动细胞。Clutz. 
someone who often drops things or has accidents. Jackie is a real klutz. Don't try to get him to play any kind of sports with you. Jackie 很笨手笨脚的，别试图叫他做任何运动。Okay, now we're going to repeat these keywords for you with the Chinese translation, and then Lin's going to give another example as well. Trim. 苗条的 I'd love to be trimmer, but I'm afraid I love eating too much. 我很想要苗条点，但是恐怕我吃太多了 Aerobics. 有氧运动 How often do you do aerobics? Every day. 你多常做有氧运动？每一天吗 ？Feel like a new person. 脱胎换骨。I feel like a new person after I started exercising regularly. 规律的运动之后，我感觉自己像是变了个新人，脱胎换骨似的。What the heck? 加强语气用的。Okay. What the heck? I'll try anything once. 好啦，我就再试一次吧。Put up with. 容忍，忍受。I can't put up with you being a couch potato any longer. 我无法再忍受你继续当个电视宝宝。Klutz. 笨手笨脚的人。I'm really a klutz. You don't want me for a badminton partner. 我真的很笨手笨脚的，你不要我当你的这个羽球的球伴。Then when someone says he's got two left feet, um,、mm, what does that really mean? Well, it means that they're really clumsy, especially Lisa when dancing. Okay, 当人家说 you got the two left feet or he got two left feet 两只左脚，通常就是指他不会跳舞的意思。Well, then dance, dancing surely isn't my thing. <laughs> well, it's not mine either. I really have two left feet as well, Lisa. Okay. So what is your thing? Well, I found that hiking is really my thing. Okay. Hiking is、mm -hmm. your thing.、Uh, what it, it isn't my thing? Is 就是我不精通于这个，这不是我我很会的哈。Huh? 所以刚刚说 two left feet 是一个不会跳舞的意思。那林老师说 that 那个不是 isn't her thing。我说 that isn't my thing either。这也不是我的。那我问他 what is your thing？ 到底你精通什么呢？他说他精通于啊、uh, tennis。But Lin, good for you. Hiking is a、uh, good hiking is good for you.、Mm -hmm. huh? Well, hiking is not my I think <laughs> I enjoy indoor activities.、Mm -hmm. I used to、uh, do more outdoor activities.、Uh, since now I have more time, maybe I should pick it up more. Pick it up from what I stopped,、mm -hmm. where I stopped. So to pick it up means to start something again after you've paused or you've stopped doing it for a short time. Okay, 老师说过去我也喜欢运动 Now I have more time. I can pick it up. Pick 那个 it 就是指我们刚刚所说的做运动的事哈。Huh? All right, Lin, uh, you want to give us an example、mm -hmm. for that? Work has been too busy these last years, but now I plan to pick up playing handball. It's great exercise. Well, Lin, that's the spirit. That's the spirit is one of the phrases we want to teach you today, students. It's a phrase used for meaning when you want to encourage someone they're doing the right thing. Okay, when You are doing the when people are doing the right thing. You want to encourage them, and you can use this uh 表达词说 that's the spirit. 这个是好的态度，这是好的。Okay, let's give an example, huh? I'm not good at tennis, but I'll play just this once for the company's sake. That's the spirit. I'm sure someday you will fall in love with the tennis. <laughs> Don't get carried away. I just agreed to play tennis with you this one time, Lisa. Uh huh. To get to get carried away.、Uh, that was another key word. You want to talk about that? Right. Another idiom、uh -huh. meaning to be overcome with emotion. Uh huh. 
呃，刚刚绿老师说，呃，他会呃跟我一起呃呃，刚刚的例句说，他虽然不太 ，I'm not good at tennis， 但是他说 ，But I play just once for the company sake， 但是为了公司的原因我就打吧。我说 That's the spirit。那这样子好，我们说 Someday 你会 fall in love with the tennis。他说 Don't get carried away， 意思就是别高兴的太早，别兴奋的太早。他说 I just agreed to play tennis with you this time。Let's give an example. Mm -hmm. Now, don't get carried away. He only said he liked you. He didn't propose marriage. <laughs> okay. 别是高兴的太早，人家只有说他喜欢你，人家还没求婚呢，哈、huh? ，所以 don't get carried away. Get carried away. 高兴的太早。让你用 don't 意思就是 don't get don't get carried away. 别太高兴的太早。OK， 这些词都是非常实用，也非常道地的用法啊啊、嗯呃！希望同学可以啊、呃、有找机会来使用它。呃，老师发现这些新学的东西，如果你马上找机会用它，而且用对了，你大概就可以记住这些啊、呃、句句子哈，跟这些生字生词。OK。I think it would be a good time to take a short break. We'll be back with you with the situations. Wow, Jung, you are really looking fit. You're doing something right. How often do you jog? Jog? Not me. I'm not into jogging, but recently I've gotten into swimming. Well, it suits you. You look trimmer than you have for years. What about you? What kind of sports do you play? Me? I'm sort of a couch potato, but recently I've started doing aerobics. I really like it. It has made me feel like a new person. I have a lot more energy now. That's great. I've been thinking about playing tennis, but I don't have a partner. Do you like playing tennis? Well, I haven't played since college, but what the heck? I'm willing to give it a try if you can put up with a klutz. That's the spirit. I'll try, but don't have too high expectations. Don't worry about it. I'll be easy on you. And after we play tennis, maybe we could look into playing golf. And maybe don't get carried away. Let's take one at a time. You don't want to give me a heart attack, do you? Tell me more about yourself, Jacob. What do you do in your free time? Free time? Well, there isn't much of that these days. But I do have a little. I like playing badminton. I used to play badminton in college, but I haven't since then. Maybe you should pick it up again. I'd love to have another partner. Well, maybe someday. I love going dancing at the club when there's time. How do you feel about dancing? It isn't my thing. My wife says I have two left feet. That's too bad. There's a great dancing party coming up, and I really wanted to invite you and your wife. I guess that we'll have to wait until some other time. Thanks, anyways. What other interests do you have? Sometimes, when I need to clear my head, I enjoy jogging. Recently, I started a Japanese conversation class in the evenings and a drawing class on the weekends. I like staying busy. Sounds like it. I guess I like to live a quieter kind of life. I'm involved in a charity organization. I do a little volunteer work. Sounds really rewarding. Why don't you tell me more about it? To know someone's interests can lead to some very good conversations. When you're talking about hobbies, you need to learn how to ask about hobbies as well as talk about your own hobbies. Okay, 问别人你的兴趣、你的嗜好，这是非常好的方法。好，开始一个谈话。当然，你除了会学会问人家，你也要学会说自己的兴趣嗜好。现在我们就一起来学。令老师会 asking about my hobbies, and I'm going to answer her. Okay, here we go. Do you like playing tennis? Or you can say, Do you like jogging? Yes, I do. No, I don't. 同学们看到这个红色的区块，这两个意思是一样的。你可以说 ，Do you like playing tennis？ 你喜欢 playing tennis， 或者是 Do you like jogging？ 你就发现就换那个啊、呃、活动
啊，喜欢做的事就就 OK 了哈。我我就直接回答。Are you good at swimming? I can say I am, but I love swimming. Okay. Are you good at doing something? Are you good at swimming? Are you good at playing basketball? 哈，这些都是这种句型。那老师就说 ，I can say I am. 我不能说我很棒 ，but I love swimming. How often do you swim? Twice a week. Okay, 在问啊、uh, 问这人家嗜好的时候，你也牵涉到问人家常常做，有常做吗 ？How often 就是对的开始了哈。How often do you swim? How often do you play 什么什么活动 ？Tennis 啊、uh, 之类的，我就说 twice a week。一问到 how often， 就跟次数有关系。What do you like to do in your free time? Or you might ask, what kind of hobbies and interests do you have? Or what kind of things are you interested in? I like doing、uh, aerobics, or I love swimming. 同学们，你看到的这三个红色的 question 的部分，都是你可以很可以使用的哈。What do you like to do in your free time? 这同学大概很熟了，或者是你直接可以问他说 ，What kind of hobbies and interests do you have? 你有什么样的兴趣？或者是 What kind of things are you interested in? 你有兴趣于什么事情？这时候，这个意思就是你的兴趣是什么 ？I like doing aerobics. I love swimming. Next. What kind of sports do you play? I'm into all kinds of sports. 这里呢就更 specific， 更仔细了哈。他说你到底 what kind of sports do you play？ 这时候你的答案可以是 I I like to play football or basketball 哈。但是这里说 I'm into， 我们学的我。对，这些都有兴趣。Do you play any sports? I play golf now and then. I also play basketball. 啊，他说你有啊 play any sport， 任何球类的运动吗？他说他 play golf now and then， 偶尔啊。在现在他 play basketball. What other interests do you have? I'm involved in the charity organization. 他说：“你还有什么样的兴趣呢？”他说：“我喜欢啊， uh, 参与这个慈善的活动。” What kind of classes are you taking? I'm taking English conversation class in the evenings and a drawing class on the weekends. 他说：“你到底修什么样的课？”啊，这个可能最容易问同学们了哈。你就 I'm taking， 我上什么课就要用 I'm taking。好啊，什么什么课程？ What do you like to do in your free time? I like to read and travel in my leisure time. What kind of hobbies and interests do you have? Baking is one of my hobbies, and I also like to cook. What other interests do you have? One of my interests is serving the internet. Do you play any sports? I'm into all kinds of sports. How do you feel about swimming? Swimming is fun. I love it. Are you good at tennis? I used to play tennis in college, but I haven't since then. I don't think I'm good at it anymore. What kind of classes are you taking? I'm taking conversational English for business. Okay, 同学，刚刚我们进行的是 your turn. 老师就把啊、uh, 所预备的答案让你们看到。如果你们没有看清楚，可以回去 check in the textbook. Check your answer in the section. Well, we're running out of time, and before we say goodbye, I like Lane to give our students some review for our lesson. Sure, students. Today we talked about how to help a conversation go further by talking about your hobbies.、Uh, sometimes you're answering questions or asking questions about hobbies. People, you know, like to talk about their own things and things they enjoy. So this will help you keep the conversation going in the right direction. Okay, students.、Um, keep up the good work. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Have a great week. Bye bye.